Hi everyone, it's time for Thursday's Drop and Craft. Today we're going to learn how to make a dream catcher out of a paper plate. Very simple, very fun, and you can make it as colorful as you want. You're going to take a paper plate. We need some kind of wool or ribbons. I put feathers on the bottom of mine. Something to color with. Glue, a hole puncher, a scissor, and tape. This is how we're going to start. We're going to make the big hole in the middle. And the way I did that, I cut through my plate and I went around the inside of my plate. Then I was left with this and an opening. So what I did was I took a piece of tape and I taped it up so it was a circle again. Then I took my hole puncher and I made three holes on the bottom of my plate. And then I put on the inside of my plate, I just made some holes. This is where you're gonna be stringing your web. And we have this now. So you're going to take, you're going to color first. You're going to take either your markers or your crayons or whatever you choose to use. I'm going to use my dots. And you're going to start, I'm going to put it on something. And you're going to start coloring in your plate. Use as many colors as you want, as few colors as you want, whatever you want to do. time to start stringing. I took a blue piece of wool and what I'm going to do to make it easy for you is you're going to take a little piece of scotch tape and you're going to wind it on the end of your wool so it's easy to get through the holes. And you're going to take the other end and you're going to tie it through one of the holes like that. I'm gonna cut off the little piece. You're going to start stringing through the holes. And mine go diagonal across so I'm just gonna go randomly into the holes. And just keep doing it until all the holes are shrunk through and then you can double and triple. And go like that. Now I'm almost done with mine. So I'm going to tie mine up. Like that. 
Then I'm going to take my shortest strings that I cut and I'm going to string it through the bottom three holes. And don't forget, you don't have to use what I'm using. You can use whatever you have in your house that you find in the basement, in your craft closet. Could all be the same color. You can make a pattern. Then I have this. I have my up there. So now I'm going to take my feathers and I'm going to. I use beads on the bottom of this, but I don't have any beads in my house tonight. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to tie the feathers around the bottom. Simple. Or you can glue it also if you want. Not that easy to tie this. Just like that. And then I had, I had put some glitter on mine. So I'm gonna take some of my sequins. I'm gonna take my glue stick. And I'm just gonna throw some sequins on. Just like that. Maybe add a little feather on top. And there you have your dream catcher. Go to sleep, catch your dreams, and tell me what your dreams are. See you next week. Bye.